Well, we had a heartbreaking loss uh, this past week to uh, SMU. Uh, you know, we uh, fell behind early in the ball game and then came back to, to go up 10 points. And then the SMU did a really good job in the fourth quarter of uh, uh, regaining control of the game and, and, and uh, you know, beating us with, uh, I guess, a minute and some odd seconds left. We, we came down and had an opportunity to Hail Mary, but it didn't work. So, uh, we've got to regroup. We got to, you know, as I've mentioned many times before, where we're at right now in our program, we just don't have a whole lot of room for error, and we've we've got to play sound in all three phases and, and not beat ourselves. I'm disappointed in the number of penalties that we had, and, and uh, you know, but uh, you know, we've got to move on, and, and we're, we're going to be playing a, a very good UCF team. Uh, Coach Frost and his staff have done a great job of getting those guys going and, and uh, you know I've, I've been very impressed with their uh, the team speed particularly on the defensive side of the ball they really have some guys that can that can run and hit and uh, you know it's going to be a tremendous challenge for us uh, this Saturday We'll take questions for Coach Willie Fritz please star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue then the operator will introduce you Our first question comes from Shannon Green with the Orlando Sentinel Hi, Coach. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for asking. Um, when your team is playing in a league like the, the AAC, where every game is a battle, um, they haven't gotten that first conference win yet. How do you keep them motivated to know that um, at any given moment they the break to go their way? Well, just you know, we we keep. Uh, you know, we evaluate what we're doing as coaches, what they're doing as players, everything. You know, it's a, you know, it's a, a team effort when you win. It's a team effort when you lose. And, and you know, there, there's going to be brighter days for our program. But, but right now where we're at, and it's just, we, we've got to do a good job in, in all facets of, of, our, of our game, our approach to the game. Uh, you know, we've, uh, you know, we've got some guys who've got to play multiple positions. We're like everybody this part of the year. We're, we're a little banged up, and we've got to have some guys that can play, you know, two or three spots instead of just one spot. It, you know, it's also part of, uh, you know, being a Division One athlete. you you got to got to understand that this is the most important part of the year. Uh, you know, I, I talk about in-season heroes. A lot of guys are really good in January, February, and March during that off-season program, but this is when we really need the, the great attention to detail. So, uh, and that's the same thing with the coaches. So, you know, it's something that uh, is tough to experience, but, uh, you know, it's uh, in the long run, we're going to be better for it if we keep fighting and scratching and clawing. I'm not sure how much um, time you've had to look at a, a bunch of UCS tape yet, but um, if you have looked at a, a good deal of film, what's the thing that stands out most about UCF that is the most well, I think they got really good uh, defensive uh, uh, speed. You know, they can really move around. They're they're good at all three levels. Uh, you know, so they they put you in a you know they're a little bit different. They they run a you know an odd front, which is you don't see every every week you know week in and week out. And, uh, so that's a little unique as well. Uh, they got dangerous you know kick returner. Uh, you know, he's a guy that you can have to do a great job of not allowing him to get some open seams, increases. And then, you know, offensively, I think they got some really good backs. They're, you know, their quarterback appears to, you know, be growing into the role, and, and he can run the ball effectively as well. And, you know, then they got some really good speed with the back. So, you know, a really talented team, and, and uh, you know, they're, they're doing a good job of coaching them. They've, uh, you know, got them playing with, uh, you know, you know a lot of aggressiveness, and uh, it's credit to – you know, the coaching staff. Thanks so much. Thank you. Our next question comes from Dan Tortoro with WakeUpCallDT.com. Good afternoon, Coach. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for asking. Um, just knocking on the door of the American Athletic Conference, but, but still 0-4 in the conference, just what you can say about what your team has done that maybe the record doesn't show. Well, you know, there's uh, there's no moral victories at all. Uh, you know, we're we we're disappointed a couple of weeks ago, the Tulsa game, because we, we we weren't really ever in that game. But 
Otherwise, we've been in every game we've played, had an opportunity to win, you know, particularly in the fourth quarter. And um, we've got to f- find a way to finish games, you know. And, and, and um, you know, as I've, I've said already a couple times today, you know, we're, we're just uh, at this point, we, we've got to be on, uh, you know, be playing our A game, uh, offense, defense, and kicking game. And we just can't make mistakes. You know, we, we had 10 penalties this last week for 100 yards, and it just, it hurt us in uh, some situations. I thought we, you know, we're, we've got some growing pains with the, you know, offensively. Uh, uh, we've got to do a better job of, of uh, staying on schedule and not, not getting into second and long and third and long situations. And, uh, you know, so it just, we just got to keep, uh, you know, grinding away and, and keep preparing to the best of our ability and, and, uh, you know, play well in all three phases and, and, and play clean as well. And your quarterback, just what you can say about, you know, what he's been able to do this season, what you've seen from him, you know, his progression at this point in the season. Well, he, he's, he's done some, he's like a, like really our whole offense. He's done some good things and he's done some things that, you know, aren't quite so good. And he's learning the system. You know, we went through the spring and, and, um, you know, you're not allowed to do a whole lot in the summer, and and uh, you know every every game's a little bit different. You know, each week you, you might get banged up, and that changes your offensive, uh, you know, uh, team schematically and, and how you're going to approach things. And and uh, so I've seen some good things. You know, he's he's uh, uh, done a good job of uh, staying in the pocket and throwing the ball, and, and uh, doing a good job of. Uh, reading some of the option plays that we run in our offense. Uh, but like everybody on, on the offensive side of the ball, we got to get better. we got to improve. 